I'm Mary Catherine, and this is our second day in our 12 days of Clovercast. So today, I'm going to be showing you a holiday recipe, and it's one of my favorites. So these are ginger spice thumbprints. These are so good because you can fill them with all kinds of different things. So today, we're going to start off by listing our ingredients. So we're going to need a half a cup of butter or one stick that is softened, three-fourths of a cup of packed light brown sugar, one-fourth a cup of molasses, one egg, two and one-fourth cups of all-purpose flour, one and three four teaspoons of ground ginger, one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking soda, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and granulated sugar, and a half a cup of fig plum or any other flavor preserves. So today I'm going to be using fig preserves because personally that's my favorite, but I've used marmalade, cranberry jam, all kinds of different things. They've all turned out great. This is just my favorite, so use what you have at home. Okay, so let's start off. Let's start off. So first we have to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. And so after I did that, I lined my cookie sheets. I did two today and we'll have to see if I need another one. I think this is all I need. So I lined them with parchment paper so that we can take our cookies off easily. Okay, the first thing we have to do is beat our butter and our brown sugar in a large bowl. Pack it down. Oh, we can get a little bit more in there. So next, we're gonna take this over here and we have to feed it on medium until it's combined. Okay, next, we have to add our molasses. We'll a cup of this. And now we don't want to spill this. It's really sticky. <laughs> it smells so good. And our egg. So we're going to start with our molasses. I'm going to do this over the bowl. Have a little festive spatula here. Scrape it out. I want to get all of that molasses in there. All right. Okay, so we just added our molasses and then we need to add one egg. Now this egg is actually from my chickens, so that's kind of fun. Tie in another project there. So we're going to beat this until it's well blended. That looks well blended to me. Okay, so now we have to combine our flour, ginger, cinnamon, baking soda, and salt in a medium bowl. So we're gonna go over here. So this is two and a fourth cups of flour. So now we have to add our ginger, cinnamon, baking soda, and salt. So next we have our ginger. One teaspoon. And then we're gonna 
have to add three fourths, but I don't have a three fourths. So we are going to have to improvise a little bit. Now we're gonna move on to our cinnamon. So again, we need one teaspoon. This time we need an extra half instead of three fourths. And then I'm gonna wipe this off to just use it for the cinnamon. Because now we have to use it for the baking soda. Close this. Put it to the side because we want a clean workspace. After that, we just need our salt. Again, I'm just gonna wipe this off. So it's one fourth of a teaspoon. That looks good. So now what we have to do is we have to gradually add this to our butter molasses kind of molasses mixture. So what we're going to do is we're going to slowly add this and then we're going to beat it well after each addition. Okay, so we have our mixture here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this over and grab a spoon. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make little balls. And I prepared a shallow bowl of granulated sugar. And so that's why we only need a little bit because there's none actually baked into the cookie. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ball and we're gonna gently roll it. So you still wanna try to make Try to maintain that shape. Okay, down here. And then it's a thumbprint cookie, so we're gonna gently print. There we go. And we're just gonna continue this until we fill up our trays. The nice thing is that these don't really spread that much. So, well, I'm still gonna space them out. You don't have to worry about them spreading as much as, let's say, chocolate chip cookies or some nice sugar cookie spread. Okay, so spread these out a little bit. And so next, before I do the second batch, I can get these in the oven, but what I have to do first the frosting, is we have to fill them before they go in the oven. So again, I'm gonna jam or preserve or jelly of any choice. I chose fig preserve because I love figs. I think they're so good. And so we're just gonna Spoon a little bit into each one, just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna get this first batch in the oven and they're gonna go in. We're at 350, so your oven should be heated by now for about 13 minutes. All right, and I'm gonna get started on this next tray, and I will see you in a few minutes. Okay, so we have our finished product here. These look really good. So I hope that if you made them, you enjoy them, or if not, thank you for just following along, 
It's great to see people supporting 4-H. Okay, let's see how this tastes. Mmm, so warm.